Evening guys, um, tonight we've got um, the flu has ravaged the team so uh, it's just me and John out tonight, uh, we've got a couple of extra, extra little alphas and my kids, uh, uh, so tonight we've just bought, fancy going out somewhere, the weather has been great, uh, it's been a little bit windy so uh, we just decided to come down, go there and have some or deny possibly to get the ghost story of the kids go bugger and uh, like I say if one night they had a cancellation or your team's ill or your board your car's on the blink just go out and have some fun just go out to a local place doesn't matter what it is just find this one out The story goes that she, her husband was working away in London and she went down to meet him on the way down. She stopped at the canal tavern pub, which was a bit further down the canal, and then um, met up with two boatmen who offered her a lift through the tunnel. But she never made out the other side. Uh, the body was found headless on a platform inside the tunnel some time later. People have said they've been in the area and, and seen the spirit of all of this um, particular lady. But at the same time, it also coincides with a story from the 1830s by a woman called Christina Collins, who was murdered on the Trent Maser Canal in the same sort of situation. She was travelling from Liverpool to London, but it wasn't in the tunnel, it was further down the canal towards the stone area. So whether it's a legend, whether it's from that pull from that legend, we don't know. Yes, so like I was saying to you earlier on, um, a lot of people only do internal events, uh, internal investigations. Uh, there's nothing wrong with going out to externally. Uh, of course, the weather is always a factor, and I mean, you know, this wind is a little bit, a little bit too heavy, really. But so uh, because of that, EVPs are no good. Uh, of course, because we're outside. Uh, temperature sensors, no good. So that's what you have to realise and change your change your, your plan really. I've been, I've been before on an investigation where we were outside and somebody could feel the draft, which I just thought was quite <laughs> um, hilarious. That's uh, right. And then I thought, because it was late on, it was time for bed. And um, I left quite early. Like I say, you just have to change the plan, that's all. Don't be scared to get nothing. Uh, like I say, I've done 400 plus investigations and I've probably got, I've probably got something in a hundred of them. And I've probably got something concrete in about five of them, so. Well, we've been to that many places, haven't we, man? It's been really, really active, it's apparently the most wanted place in the country and we've gone there and... That's quite nothing. Big. Doesn't mean it isn't haunted. <laughs> Doesn't mean it isn't haunted at all. Right, anyway. Yeah. We'll just settle in and just get used to your surroundings and... What we've got. This is the um, Liverpool Tunnel. It's not the Wedgwood Tunnel, is it? No. Uh, 
This is the Brindley Tunnel. Yeah. So say it again, John, like you didn't make make a mistake last time. That's uh, quite close because because he did. He, he did. The Wedgwood paid for wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. He had the meeting for the tunnel in a house that Wedgwood owned. And Wedgwood paid for it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Brindley. So, so so actually, it was Wedgwood's tunnel. All right then, John. Technically. Well, yeah. No, this this was as the earlier tunnel. Right, so it's the oldest. Um, this tunnel here. Tunnel this tunnel here, here. This wall. It's Talford's tunnel. Yeah. The newer, the newer of the tunnels. Last time, last time we were here. Um, again, Julie was. Hell in bad. What are you you were away, weren't you? So me and me and a lad named Paul, yeah. Paul Jackson, came down and we were actually working with Julie while she was in bed. It's home. We were actually working with her through text messages and stuff like that. And uh, we were actually corroborating what she was getting with equipment here. So that was quite good. that was quite an interesting interesting one. That was probably about seven years ago, I think. Yeah, I've been down since. Yeah, I think. Didn't really that long. Got a lot of shots are just pitch black. <laughs> well, that's what it is, isn't it? Oh, move there. Turn the light down. Oh, you Again, like I say, you're a bit limited on external locations, especially in winter. Some of a lot better. Uh, I've done a panic about it. Uh, like I say, it's not all about getting stuff. And of course, you have to keep an eye out on humans. That's funny, eh? You can't see anything, it's just black. No matter how high you go. Oh, this light, light's a bit pants. Really and truly, it's only idiots that are out. <laughs> but I ain't spinning around here. I'm going to talk to us through this radio. Talk to us through this noise box. Again, we have trains. So we have to, we have to watch out for every eventuality. As long as you do your basic, basic stuff, you're just out of the back. You're doing yourself, aren't you? That's all the matter. There are any spirits around here? Do to come and say hello? Hey, my 
Nobody knows the name. Nobody knows the name. Well, like I say, what's this with this um, Christine? But, uh, of course, she's got a name, and it's a similar sort of story. All right. Say it's a dog, say it's a wolf, say it's a werewolf. Um, nobody really knows. I do believe that around this part, uh, it's only ever seen when there's going to be a pit disaster. And apparently, it's been seen twice down on this. Once when Mario Pollard had a disaster. Yeah, there was, I think there was about 30 odd people died in, in the Mary Hill one as well, so, again. Well, this area was full of pits on to us. Again, with being born and raised in Gitch Grove, um, all the old timers, we, we grew up there, and so, uh, always used to say, oh, I'm going to go down the canal, I'm going to go down the canal at night, the buggers will get you. Uh, so maybe did 
just legends that to scare the children. Because of course in them days, in them days we, we would always, we didn't have mobile phones or anything, when the, light, when the street lights came on we had to go home. Um, street lights and gas lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, in them days life was a lot more simple, I should say. Um, so, yeah, so when the street lights came on, we had to go home, so and maybe it was part to do with that, and of course, Kids Grow being Kids Grow, it's full of people from every corner of the UK, and even, even parts of the, even European parts, like Polish, a lot of Polish, when I was growing up, there was a lot of Polish, there was a lot of Jamaicans, Geordies, Jocks, the Welsh, uh, they were from everywhere. So, um, a lot of them stories were just, just stories, really. Again, when you go stunting, you don't have to do out for anything. You can just stand and make them up. And then we can move. When you're actually doing internal ones, you've got you've also got your, your hearing and sense of smart work, but you haven't got that body out. I'll text it. That's it now. It's part of the fun. It's part of the fun. No, it was Josh going. Mm. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> right, it's alright then. That's good then. That's one thing you know, since the kids don't hang around here much. No, they don't. The kids don't hang around here much at all. But, uh, I don't know why. We used to hang around the cut, the cut all the time when I was a kid. actually dare ourselves because um, if you go that way you go back towards St Thomas's Church which is the way we'll be doing in a minute and you can walk around the avenue because we're that way in the train station Did we hear that? Did we hear that? We heard that, didn't we? We heard that, didn't we? Maybe it's the boat knocking against there. It could be that there, could it? That black box there. What was it? I didn't, I didn't hear a knock. What's that? Yeah, yeah. What was it? Did we see it? Did that, we see what it was? It was on camera. I was. Was that what it was? That was exact. That was the the sound. The bowels of St Thomas's Church. So of course, with the Air Castle Tunnel, they both actually come out of the same place. If you go underneath uh, Blackpool Park, down the bottom. Line, it used to be line houses. Uh, it's now like uh, the bottom of Sandyford. And uh, what do they call that area? Uh, Peacock's Head. Peacock's Head. Peacock's Head. Of course, the canal carries on. Uh, is this Trenton Bird? It is Trenton Bird. I don't know why the lights are on in there. It never happened before. Oh, that's 
Yeah, probably just the entrances. This and the top end. Well, that boat stayed out here. In the winter time, it's not so it's not so good doing external locations uh, because of the weather. Uh, summer's better. Well, summer look at that, the big team that you did with it, and that was in the winter. That um, the houses. The watch museum. The watch museum yeah. Never been so I cold was, in my life. I wasn't your name drop. But the watch museum in Coventry. That was just cold, 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 cold. I think that was the longest six hours of my life. Of course, the cold also affects all your equipment, so you have to take that into account. Sometimes, like you don't expect to get any. Just out. Better than sitting at home watching the telly. Every pit that we've had, which is what it has been when we haven't been trying. Yeah. Like, like the, remember the shopping centre? With that lift? To the left, in the shopping centre, yeah. That was, um, that was quite good. No, we'd probably give up and we'd give you somewhere else. Right, well, guys, so that's the yeah, Aircastle Tunnel. Uh, again, like I say, don't think we've got anything, but better to be out there than sitting in watching the strip and come dancing or something. Uh, we'll have a look at the footage and uh, we'll see what we get. If we get nothing, so be it. Like I say, keep saying. Don't be too scared to get news. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed the video, please like it, please subscribe, and please hit the notification bell so you know every time we drop a vid. So again guys, thank you very much for watching. See you later.